Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another episode of Ramadan Reflections and today we'll be talking about how we can improve as human beings and how we can increase in our benefit that we give to people in this world and how we can elevate ourselves even closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hereafter and that is through the breaking of bad habits. As human beings living on this planet we are affected by many different influences. We're affected by the people around us by our environments, by our education and our upbringing, by many different factors and human beings are very complex individuals. And so during our upbringing and our life, there are certain times when we will develop good habits and good routines, but there's also times where we may slip into bad habits and things which are ultimately counterproductive for our existence and for our uh, continued development and closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the benefit that we can give to this world. Human beings have a unique position. We can be a means of immense good. The amount of good deeds that we can amass in our life is, is beyond our kind of fathom. In everything that you touch, everything that you do, from the words that you speak to the way that you conduct yourselves with others, there's opportunity after opportunity to earn good deeds and to have good behavior. But sometimes, like in everything, there are certain toxins, there are certain pollutants, there are certain elements that corrupt our uh, habits maybe. And those bad habits are something that we must struggle against, that we must strive against, and which we must recognize for what they are, and we should aim to flip them and change them into good habits. Just that change, just that realignment with what we should be doing as opposed to what we are doing, will change our life completely and as we will all know we all have certain bad habits and we allow them to fester and we allow them to continue in our life and we allow them to continue to haunt us as we live our life and until we actually face them until we actually identify them they will never leave us just hoping that tomorrow I will stop and tomorrow I will change that wishful thinking will not change our bad habits and it will continue to shackle us and stop us from making the progress and reaching and arriving at the potential that we have within ourselves. Many of us will know that how much that bad habit is affecting us. And so the first step in removing a bad habit is to identify it for what it is and to really see it for the harm that it uh, causes within our life and all of the potential and the good that it stops us from doing. And so a person could do this as an exercise on a piece of paper. What is your number one bad habit that by the end of Ramadan you want to come out of? You want to leave Ramadan and you have overcome that demon that has been haunting you. It could be something like smoking. It could be something like watching things that we shouldn't be watching. It could be um, eating or drinking things that we shouldn't be eating or drinking. It could be using abusive or inappropriate language. The whole spectrum of different things that people can be embroiled in. But the first thing is, is to identify it. And then write a, along that on a piece of paper and keep the secret to yourself. This shouldn't be something that we share with others. This is between ourselves and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of the negative things that, uh, that come about because of that. Maybe it's a waste of wealth. Maybe it's a waste of time. All of those things. Maybe it's harming your relationships with other people. Certain addictions that we have. And so we write all of that down so we can see it for its true reality in a tangible sense. We can actually feel it. We can see it on that piece of paper. It looks back at us through those words that we have written. And then the next thing is, is to now we want to cut the ties and the things that lead us towards that bad habit or incline us towards that bad habit. So whether that's a certain place that we go to, whether that's a device that we use, whether that's certain friends that we associate with, we want to cut those connections so that it weakens that bad habit within our life. We don't want to, we want to take away its strength over us. And then what we need to do is we need to replace that with good things that will distract us from that bad and will give us a motivation and a drive to remove that from us and elevate closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through good habits. So being in good company, reading books that encourage us to, to do good and to go against that bad habit that we may have. Finding professionals that can help us. For example, if it's an addiction, this is something that you will require support. You will not be able to do it alone. 
but first of all if you can identify the steps you know that if I follow this process I can come out at the other end and I've rid myself of this demon that has been haunting me this bad habit that has been festering within my life it's just about following that process and having that unwavering dedication to make sure you see it out to the end just do what you're being told to do don't think about whether it will work or not work and don't give in to those negative thoughts that I've tried a hundred times and I've not been able to stop this bad habit or give it up you can do it people before you have done it people after you will do it you yourself can be a great inspiration for others if you can conquer your bad habits and show people the change that can be made and the great potential that can be achieved just by turning around and turning a bad habit to a good habit we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his guidance and his strength and for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove all of our bad habits and replace them with habits that are beloved to him and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Jazakumullah khair for watching another episode of Ramadan Reflections. Please make dua for the team behind these videos. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them and please share this with others.